Davis your matchup? I mean, well, he'll guard you probably, right? Is that kind of uh, how you see that? We kind of noticed that uh, he probably would guard, you know, myself or either Zach or Duncan. So uh, we prepare for either way it go. Um, what does he do? Beeline said he's probably the best yeah. defender in the league. Yeah, he's really good. Uh, he really moves his feet well. Uh, uh, got really good instincts. So uh, he's long as well. So um, as much as possible, we want to, you know, you know, keep them off our guys that we need to score and, and make some plays. But, um, you know, either way it go, we just go, in, go with the mindset of, uh, you know, attacking like we always do. Tough three-game stretch, obviously. Do you see it as an opportunity, though? Oh, of course. Um, like you, most would say, you know, it's the best feeling. You know, you playing against the, the cream of the crop at the, uh, in this three-game stretch. So uh, I know all the guys are really excited. You know, myself, I'm excited. So, uh, you know, I'm just ready to get out there and compete. Derek, size-wise, are these guys as big as you've seen up front? Oh, uh, definitely. I've never seen a, a front court like that. My freshman year, we played against Florida State, where they had some seven-footers, but not like this uh, with guys that can score with, you know, their back to the basket, uh, good size, they can move, and uh, just, you know, the three-headed monster that they have. So it's definitely the biggest front court I've seen. How important is it for you guys? I mean, maybe a little bit quicker can, uh, shooting team. How is it important? How important is it for you guys to kind of be at that, I guess they'll use A game. I mean, they're, they're huge inside. I just think that, you know, our, our key to success is, you know, is not to be afraid at all. It's just, uh, you know, know that what they're capable of and uh, know what we need to do, uh, you know, how to, you know, kind of um, go around their size and go under their size. So, uh, like I said, we, you know, we're not going to be, you know, frightened at all. You know, more so you're, you're really eager, you know, to get out there and compete. Does it, does it excite? You mentioned the, the eager thing. I mean, when you're driving against those guys as a guard, is it one of those situations where you, you want to show, like, hey, I, I can outmaneuver this big guy, that kind of stuff, to where you guys can neutralize their size because you are quick? Yeah. Well, uh, we got, you know, our, our thing here is to play smart. So uh, as many times as possible, we want to get down there and, uh, you, know, you know, outthink them. Uh, you know, show one thing and do another. Uh, it's kind of what we do here. It's just you know try to play smart as possible, and um, you know try to use their size and our smarts to our advantage. So that's basically what we're gonna try to do it at the end of the day. This obviously is this obviously is the best team you've played since SMU, which didn't go well. You obviously didn't play in the mm -hmm. game, but best team you've played since SMU. Are you guys excited to see how far you've grown since then? Um, I don't think we really going out there to test where we are right now. I think you know we all about competing and you know trying to you know win. So. Uh, we put those games in the past. We know uh, we learn what we need to learn from those teams. But um, going forward, I think we implement it. And uh, at, at this point, it's just you know it's just boiled down to going out there and competing. So uh, you know Thursday night, all 15 of our guys gonna be you know ready for battle. And um, you know, at the buzzer, you know we know if we um, you know execute our game plan and play as hard as we need to be. Uh, you know we can't really ask for more. What's it take to be a good rebounding guard at your size? Um, I think <laughs> more so than uh, anything, uh, is I think I sometimes I think I get too much credit for it because you know every rebound I get is almost you know nobody around. So you know the other four guys are always you know keeping guys with the glass. So you know I got the easy job is just you know get up there and get it. So uh, really you know my success of rebound it just really goes hand in hand with you know how well guys are keeping people off the glass. So uh, like I said, sometimes I get too much success with being able to go rebound because. Uh, the other guys are just so tired of doing other things that, you know, I'm the only guy free to get the ball, so I kind of contributed to that. It's really not a hops thing at all? It's actually just being being alone? Uh, like it's a little bit of both. <laughs> um, sometimes I have to, you know, mix it up a little bit. But, you know, nine times out of ten, guys like Ricky and uh, Aubrey and Zach and Duncan is fighting off guys, you know, that's way more athletic than I am in uh, you know, when they're not there, it's easy for me to you know get free and get the rebound. John said he's not. Last yet, question. John said he's not yet confident that uh, forwards can you know be as physical as Purdue. He said he'll find out. Mm -hmm. I mean, you you've been around Ricky, you've been around Mark and, and mm -hmm. DJ. Have these? Is there any like steps in, in them getting tougher? Um, yeah, of course. Everybody in I think people got the mean streak in them. Uh, I've seen it from each one of the guys that uh, will be matched up with those guys. So uh, it's all about, really about them staying out of foul trouble and, um, you know, being smart, you know, when they use their aggression. So uh, I'm really eager to see, you know, those guys get to, you know, battle against, a, you know, those front, that front court. It was, you know, really good. So, uh, like I said, I'm excited for, you know, Mark and Ricky and 
DJ and Mo going forward. So it's like one of those mental games where, mm-hmm. like you mentioned, really play smart. Yeah, you gotta, you gotta, what is, you can't really move them as much as you just gotta uh, be a little heady about what you do down there. You, you know, um, I think Mark and Ricky would do a good job. I, I think they'll, you know, do really well on Thursday.